Pronto! Mascarpone! Pizza! Pasta! Tiramisu! Guys, today you've all requested that I do a paper in a random language. So, Hokia decided that we're gonna do it in Italian, isn't it? So, we've got a random Italian paper and, you know, I wouldn't say my Italian is that good. I'm gonna have to YOLO this and I'm gonna have to hope that you know, my half Italianness will help me get through the paper. And because I know maths, hopefully some of the words connect since the foundations are Latin, isn't it? So without further ado, we're gonna try and get through this. It's called the Prove d'Esame Terzo Anno. Third year exam of the exam. Try of the exam. Prove. Prova. Prova means, I think means to try. Without further ado, let's just make a start, mate. I, I do need some water but I can manage for now. Prova uno. Problema uno. Uh, fissando come unità di misura il centimetro, centimetro, due quadretti del foglio uguale uno centimeters equals unità di misura. Rappresenta in un piano cartesiano Ortogonale, i punti di coordinate, note, A, B, C, E, D. I'm assuming they just want me to plot that. So I'm going to try my best on this piece of paper. Right, doing a camera swap. We are minus two, zero. So here, uh, seven, zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four, four. Yeah, got the ice and everything. Do they get grids in the exam in Italy? Or they trying to say paper. There we go. It looks like a trapezium, Mike. Calcola area e perimetro della figura ottenuta. I'm assuming they just want me to find the area and perimeter of the shape, innit? So this was at minus two. This one's at seven. So the area is a half H, half of four. A, six plus nine is two. So 30 unit squared. So the perimeter is going to be 6 plus 4, so 10 uh, plus 14. What's 10 plus 14? 24. Imagina di far ruotare di 360 degrees il poligono ABCD attorno al lato AB. Quale solido ottieni? Uh, big up my old uh, teacher friend Mr. Ottieno in that. <laughs> ottieni. I mean, how do you even describe that? It's like a, you have like a kind of cone on top of a cylinder, right? What, how, what shape is this? I don't know what shape you call that. It's just like a, a cone on a cylinder, I'm gonna say. Prolunga i lati, so lati, ah, lato and lati, so lines. There we go. So that's about the line AB. Lati means lines. So prolong the lines B, C, and A, D. Minus two, minus seven is minus nine. The minuses cancel. This cancels three, 12. The minus two, 12 is my answer for that. Okay, problema uno, conquero. Problema due. Un cubo ha la stessa area totale di una piramide retta a base quadrata alta 12 centimetro il qui lato di base Misura 18 centimeters. Okay, so this is looking like a la stessa area totale di una piramide. Pyramid, 1296. Uh, that'll be centimeters cubed. Uh, part B, calculate the area total of the pyramid. Okay, so that'll be the, the base pyramid would be 18 squared. Then we have to work out one of the triangles. So the total surface area is gonna be the base area, which is the square, 18 squared plus four lots of this. 864 centimeters squared. Calcola l'area di una faccia del cubo. Okay, I'm assuming that's saying calculate the area of one of the faces of the cube. So 6x squared is 864 because they said that they had the same area, right? So divided by six, we have 144. Calcola la massa di ciascuno dei due solidi. Ah, calculate the mass, ciascuno. What does that mean? I think that's saying find the mass of both solids or of the two solids. I'll do both just in case. It was one, two, nine, six. So the mass of the cube is gonna be one, seven, two, eight times 1.5. And the mass of the pyramid is one, two, nine, six times 1.5, four, five, three, six grams. Oh wait, we're not done. Quesito uno. Uh, individua quali. I'm assuming it just wants me to solve this, no? Oh, which one of these equations is equivalent maybe? So I'm gonna say A and C. 
All right, so that's that one. Quesito due. Traduci con un equazioni la seguente situazione. La somma, la somma is like some kind of female relative. O la somma is the sum. Yeah, the sum of two numbers consecutive. What the hell? Minore, I think, means smallest. Maggiore means biggest or massive. Maybe saying if you take the smallest and multiply it with 15, then n is 14. So your two numbers are 14 and 15, I think. So they're the consecutive numbers. Number three. Per una lotteria sono stati venduti 260 biglietti. So that's saying for a lottery, there was purchase, there was sold, it was sold 260 tickets. Chiascuno a uh, two pound, two euro 40, at the price of two pound 40. E verranno premiati i primi 15 estrati. Elisa ha acquisitato alcuni biglietti pagandoli 3120. Quanti biglietti ha acquisito Elisa? 31.20 divided by 2.4. 13 tickets. Quale percentuale di biglietti ha acquisitato rispetto al totale del, dei biglietti venduti? What percentage of tickets? Which is like 5% or something. Let's go. Per essere sicura di vincere almeno un premio quanto avrebbe dovuto spendere nel acquisitare i biglietti oh my days sicuramente me i haven't done any revision for italian in like a, a year uh to be sure of a win i'm assuming that means then i actually don't know i'm gonna have to leave that one part c not sure, I give up. Okay, prova due. Problema uno. Un muratore per un pavimentazione. Pavimentation? Utilizza 115 di piastrelle per esterno. Calcola a quanto ammonata la metà. Tratura totale acquisita. What? I think that's just some person, like a builder. I don't know. 23%. I'm just going to do 100% divided by 23% times by 115. Oh, wait. It gives you a nice number. Is that right? 500. Calcola quanti metri quadrati li avanzano al termine della lavorazione. Lavorazione? Mate, I don't even think that. I feel like 500 is the answer to part B. I'm just gonna put that the same. Con le piastrelle non utilizzate può... What? Pareti, pavimento e soffitto esclusi. 48020 meters squared. Right, I'm skipping ahead because I think pro problem three I'm noticing is very similar to the problem two that we did before with the grams. I think they're doing like a similar style. Osserva il poligono in figura. Scrivi il polinomio che rappresenta il perimetro. Okay, so I'm assuming this is saying write down a polynomial that represents the perimeter. Okay, so the perimeter is 5, 6, 7, 7 plus 4, 11 plus 4 root 2, A. I think that's what it means. Scrivi il polinomio che rappresenta the area is 13A squared. Pony, A is 8. Calculate the value of the perimeter. Okay, this is not so bad. So if A is 8, so it would just be 8 lots of 11 plus 4 root 2 centimeters. And D, calculate the area. So that'll be 832 centimeters squared. All right, final problem that I'm going to do. Observe the imagine, the image, and consider the zone curved linear in color comprised of two arcs ottenuti tra un quadrato in a square or something like that. Con il lato, the line of four meters facendo to do center, uh, something like it's a circle. Calculate quanto, how much, segue. I'm assuming it just means calculate the area in color. So it's uh, two lots of all of this. That'll be 8 pi. 8 pi minus 16. La misura del contorno della zona curvy linear. Maybe it's just saying calculate the area that's not shaded or something. Or this, which will be 32 minus 8 pi. And that's my final answer. 
Right, I think now we're just gonna use ChatGBT to just see how many of my answers are correct because I'm not, I'm not doing any more of this, my brain hurts. Right, so question one, I just took a photo. I said, complete the problem. Plot the points, forms a quadrilateral. The perimeter, they got 24, I got that, and they got the area being 30. Trapezoid, cylindrical like solid. I'm not so sure, I'm just taking it. E says minus, wait, where's my thing? Where's my answer? Y is 12. Yeah, so there we go, there's your answer. Uh, right, so going on to the second question, I just need to take a photo. 864, nice. And then I got X squared, the area of the square being 140. Four. I don't know. I don't remember what part D was actually asking. Calculate la massa, the mass of something. I don't know if it wanted both. Oh, it just wanted the individual ones. Okay, cool. So I got that. That's calm. All right. Now this one was a bit of a sticky one because I didn't know what they actually wanted me to find here. Identifying equivalent equations. Okay. So I said A and C. Equation B, they just got 11 equals 9. Something wrong there. None of the equations are equivalent. What? I don't think it's read it. Ah, oh, I put minus one over 20 rather than just minus one. All right, guys, they read the thing wrong. I'm ticking it. Where's my lottery? Oh, here it is. Okay, so this one I was bargain because where's it all do it? We are given the sum of two consecutive numbers equal to the smaller number increase. Oh my God, I got that. Oh, Leo does Italian. Let's go. So the two numbers are 14 and 15. I'm so happy with myself. My mom's going to be so proud of me. <laughs> Yo. Okay, so this one I flopped for sure. Okay, so part A, 13 I got. Then I got 5%. Part C, I had no idea though. How much would she have to spend to be sure to win at least one prize? I don't know. To guarantee winning at least one prize, Eliza must buy at least one of the 15 winning tickets. The best way to ensure this is to buy all 15 winning tickets. So she would have to spend 36 euros. I don't know about that one, to be honest. That seems a bit strange, but I don't really care. All right. Hey, yo, guys, I think I've answered this correct. Oh, they've done the area of the shaded region. I got 8 pi minus 16. Let's see if it reads that one properly. I don't think it understands that this shape is to do with this question. Shade area, they've got 9.12, 8 pi minus 16. All right, I'm taking it, man. I, I think it's good enough. Anyway, this is uh, good enough for me, guys. But if you are Italian, uh, you can let me know how I did. Good luck to Zhao to edit all of this. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you want to see anything, else let me know in the comment section like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next mass video nice